Hi, I'm Laura Harrier. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Thank you. I've always wanted to say that. Come on. <laughs> this tile right here, it's a subway tile, and it may or may not be a real Keith Haring. I found this years and years ago in New York. Um, there used to be this junkyard warehouse place on Bowery and Houston. It's gone now, of course. It's like condos or a Starbucks or something. And I was there and I found this. It was, it was just the solo tile just kind of floating around in a pile of junk. So I got the guy to sell it to me for not very much. And I tried to get it verified, but the Keith Haring Society um, wouldn't do it. I think because Keith Haring made so much street art, there was just a ton and he would draw in the subway and draw in all these posters and things. It could be his, might not be, it's a mystery, but I like not knowing, I like, like thinking that it was actually his work and I just sort of stumbled across it. It felt like a very New York story. Here are a few of my records. Some of these are really special to me because they were passed down from my parents, like this Jimmy Cliff album was my mom's. It still like has her name in the corner. I guess she wrote, I don't know if people were stealing her records. I don't know why you would write your name in it, but um, I love this Diana Ross here. I'm obsessed with Diana Ross. I just got this um, as a wrap gift on the set of Hollywood. So one of our crew members gave, us a, gave me this, which was really sweet. This one is really cool. This is a painting done by my uncle Tom, probably in the 80s or 90s, um, and he cleaned out his house recently and gave a bunch of us some of his work. My brother and I got in a big fight over this, so I just stole it and took it back to LA. My boyfriend says it looks like a weird Jesus. I think it's my Uncle Tom with boobs. I, d I don't really know what's happening, but I love having artists in my family, and it's really cool to be able to keep their work up in my home. This is Veronica. She's my tree. She's a black olive tree. My friend Angela named her Veronica because she's tall and skinny and bitchy and it seems like a fitting name. And she was a sweet housewarming gift and I think it's just good vibes. I love having a lot of greenery in the house and um, it just feels nice and natural and it's kind of cool to have a tree in your house that's this tall. I'm really grateful for her. So thanks Veronica. <laughs> This photo, as well as the second one down there, are pictures of Missouri, India, which is where my grandmother grew up. It's in the foothills of the Himalayas in northern India, and these hung in my grandparents' house forever. My whole childhood, I remember seeing them. And now they're here, which is really lovely, and it's a nice reminder of my grandma. I went here a few years ago. My whole family took a trip, and we spread her ashes up at the top of the mountain. It was super beautiful, so it's cool to have a nice reminder of her. So this is a painting of me. <laughs> and it was done by my friend Ben Evans, who's an amazing artist. Um, and I was a little anxious because I really don't want to be that person who just like hangs up pictures of themselves in their house, like especially that actress, like that's like not me. And I'm a little embarrassed about it, but I love him and I like it. It kind of looks like me. So that's that. Don't think I'm that person that hangs up portraits of themselves in their house, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs>